Hi everyone, now let's look at question 3A. So this is the final examinations for semester 1, session uh, 20, 20, uh, 20, 22, 20, 23. Okay, questions uh, 3A. So you have to find the word done by the force field. So the force field has been given. Okay, so uh, you have to find the work done by this force field on the particle when you move from 0, 0 to negative pi 0 along the curve C1 and C2 in the figure 3a. Okay, so by solving these line integrals of vector field, okay, uh, based your answer, you have to evaluate whether the force okay, is conservative or non-conservative. And you have to answer why okay provide an explanation so let's look at question 3a you know figure 3a yeah? figure 3a which is down here so here you can see two paths okay so the path start from origin 0 0 and then end at negative pi 0 okay so we have path c1 and also the path c2 okay so we want to see whether the the the, the f is conservative or non-conservative all right so we go to the uh this is the, our solutions here all right so this one okay i'll just continue here all right questions uh 3a question 3a first of all let me drop down the important informations okay so this including the f okay so the f Okay, 3x square y square. Okay, and 0. Okay, so this is the uh, f. Then you have to find the word done. Okay, you can find the word done by solving the line integrals of this f. Okay, and now dr is the path huh? okay dr is the path so you have uh, two path okay you can refer to this drawing okay you have two path okay so the first path is from zero zero until here negative pi zero okay so this is the path one and then you have the path two which is from here up to this point Okay, so this is a path uh, C2. Okay, just this is the C1. Right, so this is the Y and this is the X, uh, X axis. Okay, right, so clear about the information. Uh, this is zero. Okay, so since we have two paths, right, so we need, we have to uh, calculate the work done by each of the path one by one. Okay, we look at the path C1. Okay, so path C1 is uh, from 0, 0, okay, to negative pi 0. Okay, so from this coordinate, okay, we can see that the y is always uh, 0. Okay, the y is always 0. Okay, so if our, uh, if our r, okay, is equals to the xi, uh, plus uh, y j okay since our y is zero okay so we are going to perform the dr dx okay it is going to be one i okay one i yeah right so when we want to find the word done okay we have to integrate the f dot dr right so our f in this case is uh, three x square comma y square okay so this is your f you don't have the k components and for your uh, dr okay you only has the i component so it is equals to one and the other is a zero so you have a dx okay so this dx you can bring it here you can write dx here okay you can write ds here Okay, next we perform the dot product, so it will be three x squared and the x. So you need to specify what will be the interval for the x. In this case, your x is changing, okay, from zero to negative pi. So you could put it here, zero negative pi. 
okay so this one you can press calculator all right or you want to do it manually also okay right you can press calculator make sure it is in the uh, radians okay you integrate 3x square negative pi and zero so you get your answer equals to uh negative uh, 31 okay negative 31 all right negative 31 so this is the work done for the path c1 okay we move on to the path c2 okay let us refer back to the diagram or picture so the path c2 is the blue one okay it is not a straight line okay question didn't give you any information okay regarding the equation for the uh for this path c2 but you can see this is actually um half of a circle right it's like half of the circles okay and like um sinusoidal uh, curve okay and also sinusoidal curve because you can actually extend it right if you extend it okay it can be a shape of a sine wave okay so we can represent this uh, curve c2 okay using the equations of a sine wave right y equals to uh, uh sine x okay y equals to the sine x okay so this is the equation of the curve c2 c2 okay so we repeat the same thing again okay the r is equals to x i plus y j okay this thing is zero again your dr is equals to uh, one i dx okay we rip oh no 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 uh, right this one you have to include it uh. right oh, sorry so this one you have to include this thing okay put it sign x j okay sign s j okay so just now is zero because the y is always zero but now for this path c2 the y is not always zero we follow the equation of the sine x huh? it is not always zero that's why we have to replace this thing here so it will become a uh, i uh, plus uh, cos x j okay cos s j so when we go back to the w what done so it will be equals to 3x square comma y square dot product with the one and cos x and the x okay so this is the x right okay so now uh, let us perform the dot product it is 3x square plus y square and cross x dx okay so the y square over here you have to replace with the y equals to sine x okay replace it so you have a 3x square okay plus sine square cos x uh, no, 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 no. sine square x and cos x dx okay so the yeah, x still will be changing from 0 to negative pi okay so for the first part you have this negative 31 right negative 31 is over here okay because it is the same as the previous part Okay, we press calculator for this part. So you have a sine x a square uh, and the cos x. So negative pi and zero. Okay, so for the second part over here, you get zero. Okay, so meaning that the answer is still negative 31. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, okay so both paths actually give the same amount of work done 
Okay, so the F is closer than this. Okay, so you can conclude my conclusions. Okay, since both of the work done are same. Okay, terms. Okay, the F is conservative. Okay, so you have to put a uh, conclusions or remark because the question asks you to explain, right? Okay, so this is for the question 3A.